Conquer Computer, Onboard Android Development. Hello and welcome to Conquer Computer episode 9. Today we are going to talk about bitmap animation. In a series of episodes, we are going to take our scramble demo and evolve it into a fully working game. Today, we have prepared the ship, which is animated with four separate bitmaps, and we'll show you those now. So if we go down here, you can see our ship. Our first one is just here, and then we have four, three more underneath it over here and two more below that so each bitmap has its own function so what we need to do is call each function and store the bitmap number in an array so if we go up to func main at the very top right we can give ourselves a few spaces at the top like that and what we want to be doing is we're going to type in num brackets ships. That's our like variable. Then we're going to have num ship equals ship bitmap zero. That's the name of one of our bitmap ships. And then we're going to have add ships comma ship that's our array and we give ourselves a space then we're gonna have ship equals ship bitmap zero brackets again then we're gonna have num no wait I think I've messed it up there haven't I yes this should be ship bitmap one Sorry about that. And it should be after that add ships, comma, ship. Then it's ship equals ship bitmap two brackets add ships. Ship and it's ship equals ship bitmap three brackets add ships ship and then we've done our first part so we're gonna move on now. Here you can see we have it running with just one of our bitmap ships. Looks pretty cool, right? Anyways, we're going to move on to the next part in creating our program. Okay, now on to the animation. So, what we've done here is we've already created a variable called frame, which is incremented by 1 each time the draw function is called. We can use this to work out which of the four ships we're going to display. Now, if we type here num ship index equals frame percent four percent means mod all the remainder after division so as frame increases ship will be set to one two three zero etc on subsequent frames next let's select the ship bitmap from the array so what we're going to type here is ship equals ships square brackets ship index like that and this is this is gonna cycle the ship it's gonna flicker but it'll be very fast so let's see and yes so let's reduce the frame down by a factor of 10 the int function which we will add into this statement rounds the division down so if we just add here int and then we have a bracket there and then we add a that and 10 divide that by 4 and now let's try that 
And as you can see, the flickering has significantly reduced. And it now looks a little less like it's having a seizure. Anyways, let's move on now. Okay, we're now going to get the ship to move according to which keys are pressed. I have added the ship X and ship Y variables to the main function. Let's have our function called check keys called from the draw function. And then in here we will type if is key brackets left, so that's our left arrow key. Ship x will equal, well, no, not like that. We want minus equals 5. <coughs> and we're going to have else if is key equals brackets right. Ship x plus equals 5. And then it's going to be up. Next, why have I put in equals there? Oops. Up. Ship Y. Then we're gonna have a minus equals five. Let's delete this random equals which I put in. And we're going to have, finally, else if is key, brackets, down, ship y, plus equals 5. And then we're going to have, we've got our end function there. Okay, and these commands, they will work for keyboards or game controllers. Now, let's change the draw bitmap command. So if we go to draw bitmap, is it below or above? I can't remember. It's got to be above because that's the bottom. There it is, draw bitmap. We've got our B, and then we're going to change. Is that the right one? No, it's up here, isn't it? Oh, we've already changed it. Yes, yeah, so it should be ship X and ship Y. Just so you know, these should be ship X and ship Y. And then if we run that, uh, missing end statement, um, what for? Funk draw FPS. What is it just meant to be there? Like that. There we go. Alright, and as you can see, we can now move our ship up and down. And we can move it across, backwards, and if we zoom in on it here, you can see the changes even better. And you can see that we basically have our ship, which can move. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye!